I'm Andy. In this series of videos, I'm building a cedar strip canoe. In this episode, I'm going to attempt to finish planking the hull to create the finished shape of the boat. That will then be covered in fiberglass to add structural strength later on. to the way I like to portray these videos, I haven't actually got a clue what I'm doing and I feel like I'm pretty much making this up as I go along with the guidance of the book but there's a lot of little details which are really tricky to work out. One of those details is where the outer stem comes on. So um, the inner stem supports the planks from the inside, the outer stem then caps it all the way up from the outside and it sits on the ends sort of up till about the corner here. It sits on top of the planks and caps them nicely. But as you come round this corner towards the top, it sits inside the planks and gets um, mortised down into them. But to get these planks to fit, I first got to cut the ends off the planks which were already on on the other side. Now I don't cut too much off because then it won't be covered correctly by the outer stem. But if I don't cut enough off, I can't fit these planks because they're hitting on the, the ends of the planks underneath. So, it's the first time I've dry fitted strips in the build so far and the reason is I'm going to mark the exact length of these planks, the diagonal line at the ends of these ones and I'm going to cut these precisely to length, well not precisely to length, slightly over length before I fit them. From this point onwards it gets easier because you do one whole side of the boat past the centre line then you trim that centre line and then it gets more difficult again because every strip going in after that point has to be cut exactly to that centre line so it fits precisely, there's no more um, fitting of over length strips and then cutting them afterwards like I've been doing up to now. Twenty seven point two. Six point eight. So while the glue is drying on the top of the hull here, I'm going to take some time to fill in the bow and stern sections to create the lovely sweeping curve that is so unique to this style of boat. So I'll, I'll install additional planking sections and they come down as far as the notch in these last two mould stations and then the notch in the stem mould here and that blends back into the existing gunnel line. The existing, um, whatever you call that, cut line. I can't remember what it's called. I need to look up the book.
This side of the hull is now finished and there's dead straight line cut down the centre, right on the bottom of it along the keel line. The process of fitting the planks on the other side is a bit more complicated because they need to fit exactly in, they can't be made oversized and then cut to length. The added complication on this one is that there is still a scarf joint on this one plank, after that point there's no more scarf joints. Um, additionally, just to make things more complicated, I need to cut this at an angle at a bevel, so you see the the new strip doesn't sit at 90, it doesn't sit horizontal. It sits at about, I don't know, 20 degrees off horizontal, so I need to cut that into the end here so that it sits flush against the other side. My benchmarks haven't done what they were meant to, so the benchmark on the new strip should have been to this side of the old benchmark. That benchmark's not going to be any good, so I'll have to guess the other end. Okay, my benchmark's out again by, oh, over a centimetre anyway. I'm not sure why that is, I probably need to go and have a cup of tea and think about what I'm doing wrong here. At this point there are only two more strips to fit. The curve of the final gap is measured out and lifted onto the workbench and the final two strips are then glued together matching to that curve before being introduced into the final gap in the canoe. The bead and cove edges between this final pair and the plank before have been removed so that they can simply push down and slot into place. Yes! Finally! Finally done! I'm so glad to have that job finished. 
That's the, the hull is now closed. Um, there's a lot of fairing and fiberglassing and other jobs to do until I can take it off the mould now, but that huge job is finished. The stripping is done and it looks good. In boat building, the last plank fitted to a boat is normally called the whiskey plank, named after how it's traditionally celebrated. So there's only one thing to do this evening. Cheers.